Hi everybody, welcome to day five of our Caterpillar Diary. Now, I want you to look really carefully at this bit here, okay? Now that is part of the Caterpillar. Let's see if we can move it closer. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. It's called an exoskeleton. Isn't that a great word, exoskeleton? Now, whilst humans have skeletons inside our bodies with tissue and skin on the outside, caterpillars' bodies are the opposite. Their tissue are on the inside and the skeleton is on the outside of their bodies. That's why their skeleton is called an exoskeleton. And when caterpillars grow, the exoskeleton gets tighter and tighter. And since exoskeletons won't stretch, the caterpillars have to shed their exoskeleton or molt in order to continue growing. So these caterpillars here will molt and hopefully they'll do it four or five times before they become, um, before they spin their chrysalis and turn into a butterfly. So these little black bits here, that is actually cast off caterpillar skeleton. They don't need it anymore because they need to grow. So sometimes, we'll find it in different places. Yep, yeah, look here. Can you see, I'm gonna lift this up. There's some up there as well, hang on. There we go. Can you remember? what the caterpillar waste is called. It begins with a th. That's right, it's called frass. Here's a wiggly one today. Where are you going? Look at this. There's so, so much silk in the tubs. They've been really busy spinning silk. Hey, look, it looks like that one's nibbling on it. And this one here is eating the food. They're doing lots more wriggling than they have been doing. And they're growing and doubling in size, which is a really good sign. So hopefully in two or more days, they might start spinning their chrysalis. Is it eating as well? Yes, it is. So this was day five, all about the exoskeleton. Right, let's see what happens in a few days time. Bye.